Hi, I'm Joe Witkowski. In this video, I want to show you how to fix a problem with a torpedo heater. What's happening when I plug this torpedo heater in? It'll act like it wants to start. And it just probably won't get there. Okay, so what's wrong with this one is when I plug it in, the glow plug will glow. It just will not uh, it will not spray the kerosene to start the torpedo heater. So I'm going to take apart the back and show you how to fix this problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off. off here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it in. What it's doing. So you can see the glow plug. And it's not spraying any fluid. Okay, so we're gonna take the back of this little motor off. So inside here there's an impeller, so we're going to have to take this cover off, take these three bolts off, and we'll pull this cover off. You see, this is where where the vacuum comes through to pull the um, the kerosene through. Plug that. So going to clean this filter. Okay, those three screws. Now we have to take off these six screws. Okay, so we're going to take these back screws out. Okay, this is the back plate where the air comes through. And I don't know if you can see, you can't see it now. Okay, so here's what's wrong with it. You see these parts right here? This is supposed to come down like a blade from centrifugal force. Okay? and pump the air. Well, what's happened is, see, as it turns, it's supposed to drop, it's supposed to drop and push air into these holes right here. And that suction, just like a spray gun, will put kerosene through into the igniter and give you heat. Well, as we're turning it, you can see that it's not dropping. That one dropped. And that's what's supposed to happen. They're not all dropped. So these things have gotten gummed up over time and we're going to fix them. Now these are a carbon fiber uh, blade. You don't want to use oil because if you use oil, yeah, it will lubricate them, but they'll come up, one, from the cold air, and two, it'll start wearing some of this carbon fiber off and just get all gummy and they won't operate properly. So we're going to use graphite. We're going to clean it off real good with some brake clean 
and lube it up with graphite. Okay, so I'm going to carefully try and get that out. All right, I'm going to take another small screwdriver. I'm going to take this little blade out here. There's one. Start pulling this out. This little blade came down. It's a little bit tricky to get out of there. I don't want to damage it. Okay. Okay, there we go. See, those should fall right out. We're going to clean this area out here. We're going to clean these little blades. There's four of them. Then we're going to put graphite on them. And everything should work fine. Alright, we're going to clean these parts with brake clean. The reason we're going to use brake clean is it uh, evaporates really quickly, doesn't leave any residue. Alright, inside here, you can see all this gum inside here. We need, it's all pretty sticky, it's all gummed up. We're going to clean that out too, and then we're going to clean the back of this plate and put it back together. Okay, I've got uh, tuba lube. This is graphite. Um, this I got from Menards and a while back. If you can't find it at Menards, you can go online and get it. But we're going to put some graphite in here. Lube these up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, so I don't have to hold these because they're going to keep falling out. We're going to put it in the back of the, now you got to make sure you put it on the right way. Uh, you'll see that this side is flat, this side's got an indentation. When we took it off, the indentation goes inside here, so it'll fit tight inside the hole. Line the teeth lines up. Okay. We're going to put one in there. We'll put some graphite on here. Oop, too, that's too much. That's a lot. Put a little too much on. We're going to put some, save it, put it on here. Need to coat it. Okay, now I have them all in. When I rotate it, you're going to see they're going to drop. Remember, before they weren't dropping, they were stuck. A little more lube on that one. Take this one back out.
see how they're dropping easily now. Okay. When this is spinning fast, it'll push them out. Okay. So now we'll put this back together. I'm going to put a little bit of, put a little bit on here. So go back here. Don't over tighten them. I'm using a little impact pin here. Pull that out. Clean that out. Okay, and we're going to put this back in here. Clean this air filter out here. We'll put that back in. Okay, we'll put this cover back on. Gonna have these. That's what. That's what um, controls the air fuel air mixture. Okay. Put the air clean back in. Okay. Alright, we're going to plug it back in. Can you see the glow? The igniter. There we go. Now we can finish putting it back together. And that's how you fix this particular problem. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to ideas, visit my website at www.doityourselfwithjoe.com. Also, click the subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos. And like us on Facebook.